welcome to today's uh, video today I'm going to do some more practicing on bike uh, to get preparation for my CBT we have got a lovely empty car park this morning it's Sunday morning it's about 11 o'clock so let's just enjoy the ride I hope you enjoy the video I'm going to be practicing my gearing up and gearing down. I've only been riding my bike for four days, uh, as you've seen by my previous video introducing Little Miss. Um, so thanks to uh, Lone Wolf really, Lone Wolf was the one that instilled the wanting and the passion for me to learn to ride the bike, uh, well, motorbike. Um, yeah, it's only a medium sized car park. But as you can see, it's empty, it's a lovely Sunday morning and we're going to do some practicing. We're going to be doing gearing up into second gear, gearing down into first gear and slow manoeuvres and stopping. So yeah, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Like I say, I've only been riding four days. Um, never ridden a bike before at all. Um, so it's all still pretty new. Um, my gearing up is still a little bit rusty because obviously I'm still learning. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. 
went for my CBT on the 13th and couldn't pass it because I didn't know how to gear up which obviously as you can see we're in first gear at the moment the best thing I can advise anybody who's wanting to learn to ride a motorbike lots of practice um, I did about five hours practice in the garden and <laughs> it was nowhere near enough um, to even reach the basic standards of CBT that's not saying that no one can go for it and pass it straight away um, but I would definitely advise at least having a little practice before you go in there to do your CBT um, but yeah so just enjoy now in second as you can see and the motor sound changes it's also very very important that you do your looking right and looking left um, and your shoulder checks of course and your lifesavers I came here yesterday and this mud down here I slipped on um, so yeah I did officially my first fall off my bike which is inevitable, so anybody thinking that it's not going to happen, it really is. It's inevitable, it happens to everybody. Uh, same as dropping your bike on yourself does as well. I did that twice on the day that I got her. Uh, but she is my first ever bike. Um, the only other bike I've ever been on, and I was in Hillian, was the Thunder Ace 1000cc uh, YZF 1000, and my partner's bike, Lone Wolf. Um, now he's been riding 44 years um, and he's basically taught me everything I know really when it comes to motorbikes uh, can't say really I don't know much if it weren't for him um, I mean to some people this may seem pretty boring I'm just going around in a circle but in this circle I'm learning my lean, I'm learning my corners uh, I'm learning to listen to the engine uh, learning the throttle and the clutch manoeuvres as you can see down into third gear um, it's very important you use the clutch and the throttle together as we can see I've just geared up again um, it's very important that you definitely learn how to at least shift up into second gear before you go for your BBC ideally because uh, I did my lap in first gear and I was kangarooing quite a lot to be fair which is where you're doing this with the throttle and if you're in doubt braking clutch works every time so we've come to a stop now so we're going to put it back into first gear so guys as you can see we have stopped for a moment I just thought we'd give a bit of a walk around for little mess uh, she is a Zompez Tiger 3A, um, she's 125 cc with 14 brake horsepower. Um, as you can see, uh, she's a lovely little motorbike, she's very comfy, the position of the handlebars is nice. Um, and the seat oh, is absolutely lush, it is so comfortable, I can't even tell you. Um, as you can see it is a leather seat um, as one piece with a nice slope up the back um, this what I've got on my exhaust at the moment is known as a heat wrap that helps to keep um, the heat in the, the exhaust um, pipe this exhaust pipe here as we can see uh, and the bars here have been spread with hammerite black spray paint uh, as she was getting a little rusty when I when I got her um, the sticker in the middle as you can see is my sticker for my website it is also very important to um, make you aware that when you are learning to ride a bike I mean I haven't got a front L plate at the moment because it came off uh, and I do need to get a new one <coughs> but it is, it is really important as well if you are practicing as a learner that you have L plates front and back um, 
which has a centre stand as well as a side stand. I mean, as far as things go, I mean, Lone Wolf really does not like Chinese bikes. But even Lone Wolf has said she is a very comfortable bike for a Chinese bike. Um, I mean, she's very steady. She's she's easy to get on with. She's a perfect learner bike. Um, and she's definitely a little miss, which is why she got a name. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very enjoyable riding her. I've had a lot of fun learning to ride her at the moment. Um, the day that I got her, I spent three and a half hours in the garden in the rain. <laughs> Typical weather for British weather. Uh, but I did spend a lot of time in the rain. I got absolutely soaked through to the bone just learning basically how to take off, how to stop. Um, which is very important really, it's the first thing you need to learn in my opinion. Um, I will agree with Lone Wolf on that, it is very very important that you learn how to stop first. Because if you can go and you don't know how to stop, that's when accidents are going to happen. So, yeah, little miss everybody. Um, I will show you her sound. Just bring her up and start her. I mean, this is, we're just idling here at the minute. But she does have a nice sound. I do absolutely love her purse, as you can hear. If I do a slow rev rather than a big rev. There we go, there's her purse. And this is why she's called Little Miss, because she's her like a little pussy cat. Also very important to what I've mentioned as well. Um, this moss is incredibly slippy and so are wet leaves. Please be careful. Um, it's also important to look where you want to go, not what you don't want to hit. Obviously still be aware of everything that's going on around you. Um, that is really important. And look where you want to go, try not to focus too much looking at the clock down here if you look down here and you look up you could crash into something but yeah it's lovely riding that one as well as you can see she's a lovely little ride um she sounds lovely when you give it some gas like i say it may sound like i'm a bit jerky with it but uh, i'm only learning and the best way to learn 
this step is to the sound of your bike. I mean, these are literally the fundamental basics that you've got to learn to do your CBT. As I soon found out when I went to mine on the 13th. Uh, I mean, if you are practicing somewhere like a car park like me, um, please be careful, there is public around. I don't advise doing this unless you know how to stop. I can tell you right now, we're going around in third. Uh, I'm not really fussed about jumping up into second just yet. Just getting used to cornering, steering. It's really important when you're learning how to ride a mountain bike. I mean, it is important to notice as well. I mean, I'm not really using my hands so much there. I'm using more my bum for steering, which is massively important. Give her a bit more juice now. Awesome, go, go. Um, you need to be able to weigh people on and go ahead and aim. And, you know, if people are wanting to cross in front of you, it's nice just to go on, love and be polite, you know, be a nice biker, <laughs> uh, which up until about two weeks ago, I'd never done. Well, not even two weeks ago, it's about eight days. Um, she went in for her MLT, she had quite a lot of work done, she had some wheel bearings done, uh, some new clamps, Oop, some new clamps put on uh, the handlebars, uh, the clutch was sorted, front brake was sorted, because when I actually learned to move off on this bike um, she didn't actually have a front brake at all so I actually learned how to move off and to stop using my clutch and my back brake um, I mean if you are going to use your front brake I don't advise you doing it harshly because uh, <laughs> if you are travelling at any speed and you do it as a harsh brake then <laughs> you're going to come off the bike basically. Uh, it's also really important to mention, I mean legal requirements are you are minimum to wear a helmet. I would advise wearing full protection gear. I've got some protector pants on underneath my wet look leather leggings. Le yeah. God, that was hard to say. Wet look leather leggings which are absolutely fantastic. They have protection in your bum, your hips, your thighs, uh, your knees, your shins. Um, so if in the eventuality you do come off or you do slip on one of our practicing or mops or anything like that, uh, as I did yesterday, it will protect your skin. I mean, it doesn't protect against breaks, but it does prevent your skin getting torn badly. Um, working up from that, I've got a leather jacket on with five point armour which means I have armour in my shoulders, my elbows and my back. Again all very crucial points. Then on my hands I have gloves as you can see and I have a helmet on which is the most important because Obviously you want to protect your head and your brain and your skull and everything that keeps you alive, really. So yeah, up until about, I'd say 10 days ago, I'd never even sat in control on a bike. Uh, I'd only ever been pillion. Now I've done 3,000 miles in pillion to get used to the feel of the bike moving underneath me. Now, pillion is basically sitting on the back seat of a motorbike. Now, the bike I've been sitting on is a Yamaha Wireless 1000R uh, Thunder Ace, which is a sports bike suits you. Now, I mean, before I bought Little Miss, um, I sat on a KTM, which was way too tall for me, because I'm only little, I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, so I'm only Diddy as you've seen probably in the pictures. I'm not a very tall person, so that was way too big for me. Nice suspension on the bikes, lovely colours, 
um, nice handlebars, just too tall for me. Um, and by being too tall, I mean I was unable to flat foot both sides of the bike for stability when it stood with my bike. The bike itself wasn't necessarily too heavy, um, but it was way too tall for me, way too tall. Uh, the next bike I sat on was a, uh, a Honda CBR 125R. Um, again, very, very comfy seat. A little bit heavier than what Little Miss is. Uh, and I could flat foot that on both sides. The suspension on that was awesome. The seat on that was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, gorgeous seat, lovely suspension. Uh, and then I came across Little Miss online. Um, I hadn't even sat on her. Um, we went to pick her up. And I sat on her and I fell in love with her instantly. She's not overly heavy, so if you do come off, you should be able to pick her up. Um, but yeah. I'm having fun, I'm enjoying learning to ride. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself. I mean, I did that with my CBT and I came on three hours early. Uh, I expected way too much from myself after only practicing, like I say, about four or five hours in the garden. And basically, he asked me to gear up and I'm like, um, how do I do that? I knew how to gear up, I just didn't know how to do it well on the bike. So obviously my brain went into a bit of a meltdown. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, it's, it's been fun learning. I'm still learning. Uh, I can manage to lift Little Miss, the diamond that she is, on my own. Obviously, bigger the bike, the heavier you get. And some bikes are heavier than others. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just have confidence and faith in yourself and just have fun, enjoy it. Um, it is a bit nerve wracking at first, but you start having fun and you, you learn to enjoy what you're doing, as I am now. Uh, it definitely gives me a, a want for more. Definitely give me a taste of something bigger. Like once I get my confidence and I'm on, well, I've got confidence anyway, but once I'm on the road and I'm confident on the road, well, then we are doing good. We really are doing good. Um, it's inevitable. I mean, everybody has accidents. Everybody comes off the bike. Everybody drops the bike. Um, I mean, you can only control what the bike you're sitting on does, you can't control all the drivers, car drivers, lorry drivers, uh, cyclists, scooters, <laughs> um, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, I mean I'm just a 34 year old lass that up until three months ago, I mean I've always liked bikes, um, I've always had a liking for bikes, never thought I'd learn to ride one. But, you know, life throws you a few surprises and the, be the best ones are the least expected. Myself and Lone Wolf are getting married on the 7th of November and I am so lucky for it. I cannot wait to marry him and be his wife. He really does complete me in every way. He really is everything I could ever have wished for. We have a lovely home together and a lovely little doggy. He has his thunder ace. I've got little mess. You know, we, we live comfortably and we're, we're happy, but <laughs> it is very lovely, Duffy. Um, I mean, I've known Lone Wolf getting on for probably about 17 or 18 years, maybe longer. So, thank you, Lone Wolf, for giving me everything that I've got now. Because without you, this would not be possible. I wouldn't be learning to ride a bike, my dear darling. <laughs> I uh, always had a big fear of them, as you know. It took you 18 years to get me on the back of a bike. And that's in Pillion, never mind learning to ride one. 
But yeah, it's <laughs> definitely been an eventful uh, four months. Um, I mean, I posted an introduction video for Little Miss last night. Once I am out on the road, I am going to be doing some vlogging. Um, well, motor vlogging as it'll be there, not just vlogging. Wow, check me, motor vlogging, not vlogging. Um, so, obviously, I'll be showing you the places I'm going. We'll be doing some reviews of some coffee shops and places to eat. Probably at some point in the future we'll be doing some reviews on B&B um, and we'll give it a she, a she will pour rating. I mean I've not been doing YouTube editing or riding a motorcycle long. I mean I've learnt all of these three things in the, the last sort of three months so I mean obviously I'm happy to take tips and suggestions and suggestions for places to review. Uh, local to Kendall, Windermere, Bona. Please do not forget to either like, comment or subscribe. It is free to subscribe. Um, have a nice day. Have a great day. Excuse me, no, I will.